Hi everyone and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a collaboration. I've uh, teamed up with three other guys, three other astrophotographers, all brilliant guys. Let me introduce them to you. Uh, we first have Joe Navarra from Joe's Astrophoto. We've got Isaac from Iceman Astro. And finally, but by no means least, Jason from AZ4 Runner. All three guys have their own YouTube channels and have great content and they're all really good astrophotographers, so check them out. I'm really excited about this project. Uh, it's really nice to get people together and uh, four of us, we've had a bit of a laugh and uh, I think we've um, worked really well together. Um, I just wish that I could get over to where they are, they are uh, in the desert where they get bought to one skies. Where, um, I hope that amazing would be such a great uh, experience to do that and hopefully one day I will uh, venture that way and give it a go but for now I'm just gonna have to put up with my bottle six guys uh, here in the UK right so um, I hope you can uh, tag along uh, follow the story and uh, at the end we'll share with you a lovely image of the soul nebula so my name's Glenn and you're watching Astro Bloke. Okay, so as with all collaborations, it starts with the people meeting online. So let's get to that and you can uh, follow some of the story. Hey guys. Hey, well, hey Joe. Come on. <laughs> hello mate. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these two reprobates you bought with you, Joe? Where did you find them? The, the Scorpion brothers. Oh uh, yeah, they're scorpion hunters. Yeah. Uh, I thought it'd be cool if we did a collaboration with them. We all shot the same target. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I've been out in my garden looking at worms with a UV torch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't get scorpions in the UK. No, no. Uh, oh, that'd be a great idea. What what are we all thinking of doing? What sort of target we want? Well uh, what uh what what telescopes do we do we have? Yeah, that's a good idea. We better think about that. What I don't know. Start with you, Joe. What you got? Um, I've got the Edge 8 at 1,422 millimeters, and I've got my Z81 at 470-ish. 470 ish. 470. Or 47. Actually, it's 447. Cool. cool. So I've got uh, my Stellar View. It's a 480 uh, focal length. I've got the Red Cat, which is 250, and I've got a 8 inch RC, which is 1600. I don't have a flat or a reducer on that. Those are mine. What about you, Isaac? Um, I have the Z73 430 focal length and then the, the Space Cat, which is a 250. Okay. So my my smallest scope is my Zenith Star 61. But okay. I've actually got a reducer for that. So I can take that down to 288 from 360 to 288. Uh, and I've got a 130 PDS, but that's 650. And then I've got my CT10, but that's 1200. So I think we're looking at the smaller end, aren't we? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. What uh, what what cameras do you guys have? So I have, I have the the mono, I have the one eighty three mono. Yeah. Um, what what what, what do you have, Glenn? I've got a one eight three mono as well. Okay. I got a two ninety four mono. I only shoot mono. Okay, and then and then well well Jason and I can use the same equipment because we're. Actually, that that work quite well, actually, Joe, because uh, the one eight three is an e just a one inch sensor. So, although we're at a wider field of view with the smaller sensor, it's going to match up with your four thirds and uh, eighty one, isn't it? Yeah, that'll yeah. work. That'll match up well, I reckon. I'll use the eighty one. Okay. So, what are we gonna need a target? So what's, man, what's going to fit in that moon? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, this time of year, it's hard to find a target that's gonna that's gonna fill the frame of view. 
at that focal length. Um. Well, we can we can probably do the soul. Soul is up all night, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We need a lot of time on that. Yeah, I think I think it would frame up. So if we do the 183 and the space cat, I think it would frame up to what you guys have, uh, Joe and Glenn. What do you, What do you think? Yeah, I'll be a little bit closer, yeah. won't I? So about 30 mil, I mean, it'd be negligible. And Joe, I'll be I think he's shooting. Closer. You guys will have to crop into me if we do that. Yeah, but I don't. But it'll work. It'll yeah, work. but we're not going to get both in, are we? We're not going to get heart and soul, so we might as well be cropped yeah. in to get the detail. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. We all up yeah, for no. doing? Are we? Are we all yeah. going narrow band, or are we doing a mixture? Yeah, we'll, we'll do. Uh, we'll do narrow band. Like I said, um, I can. Yeah. Since me and Jason live pretty close together, he, he can he can shoot for both of us. Okay. Yeah, I got the observatory at home, and I can just set it up and just let it run all night long and capture as much uh, as much data as possible. Yeah, we're we're actually heading out to uh, Alpha Scorpia, the desert, this weekend, so I can I can start the oxygen over there, get some clean data. Oh, that'd be nice. Is that that's nice. one, well, isn't it, for you guys, isn't it? Out there? Yeah, yeah. Mm, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can get some scorpions too. Yeah, and we get some yeah. scorpions. Yeah, no scorpions and bottle six for me. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So right. yeah, okay. Well, we'll do, we'll we'll crack on with that then. So what? We'll go off and do it. And come back Let's go. and see what we get, shall we? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, guys. Such a great group of guys. Right, let's have a look at the equipment we're all going to use for the uh, capture we've decided upon. Hey, Joe. Hey, Glenn. Welcome to Beta Scorpii. So, this is the equipment that we're going to be using. Um, we have the Space Cap 51. It has a focal length of 250 millimeters, uh, aperture of 51 millimeters. Um, we also have our guide scope. This is a 30 millimeter guide scope, 130 millimeter focal length with a ZWO 120mm mini guide scope, guide camera. All right, and then for the, the camera, uh, we're using the ZWO ASI 183mm, that's monochrome. Uh, I do have the uh, eight position filter wheel. I have, we're gonna be go ahead and using uh, astronomic six nanometer hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And since we're here at uh, Beta Scorpii, uh, I already have my mount set up. Um, this is an Orion Sirius EQ, uh, EQG. So it's equivalent to the HEQ5, I believe it is. Uh, it's a nice sturdy, sturdy mount. Um, it can support up to 30 pounds, so the Red Cat will have no problem on this, uh, on this, uh, mount. Alright guys, and then so our project, uh, we are, we started the, the project, um, if you, if you saw, um, one of our last videos, we started the project at Alpha Scorpia, which is, that's the bottom one desert, so we actually started to collect oxygen there. Uh, last night, Jason was able to capture some sulfur. And uh, tonight, because of the moon, uh, we are capturing hydrogen alpha. So uh, we're excited to work with you guys, and uh, we, we hope that the data turns out. Hi, Glenn, Isaac, and Jason. Tonight I'm going to be using my William Optics Z81 doublet aprochromatic telescope with a uh, William Optics guide scope on it. I'm using the 120 mini for guiding, uh, ZWO EAF for my automatic focuser. I've got a ZWO filter wheel and a ZWO 294mm Pro camera. Um, I'm going to be using Astrodon 5 nanometer um, for my hydrogen, Chroma 3 nanometer for my oxygen, and Astrodon 3 nanometer for my sulfur. I'm going to hopefully be taking 10 minute exposures as long as my guiding's on point and at a Unity game with 294 uh, 120. Hi Joe, Jason, Isaac, hope you're all well. So I'm gonna give a quick breakdown of my rig that I'm gonna be using for our uh, collaboration on the Soul Nebula. So I'm gonna be using my Zenith Star 61, which is by William Optics, and it'll have the William Optics 50 millimeter guide scope riding on top. You'll also notice that there'll be uh, dew tapes on both my scopes as unlike yourselves, I live in a rather humid area 
um, and so dew is definitely an issue for me especially at this time of year. On the back of my Zenith Star 61 I have the 61 flat R which is a 0.8 reducing field flattener and it also has a really nice built-in rotator so that's quite a nice uh, feature. The camera I'm going to be using for this project is my Altair Astro 183M ProTech camera. That's uh, a mono camera. So as we discussed, we'll be shooting in narrowband. So I'll have my uh, ZWO filter wheel on with SHO filters inside. And uh, you'll also notice on my camera, I've got the ZWO uh, heating element on the front there. So I was getting some dew issues on the outside of the sensor window um, when I was chilling this camera to minus 10. But since fitting the uh, heating element on the front there, that's cured any problems like that. Finally, we are going to be uh, guiding with the ASI 120mm Mini in the guide scope and I'm going to be mounting the rig onto my HEQ5 Pro. So that's my rig guys, I'd like to wish you the best of luck with the imaging capture and I look forward to getting back to you with my data and we'll see what image we can come up with. How's it going, guys? Go, guys? Hey, it's gone really well. It's I just nearly, got done imaging just now. It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Christmas jumpers? <laughs> I don't believe it. Where's your Christmas jumper? I think it, here, here we call them ugly sweaters. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I don't have one. Do you not have a have Christmas jumper? You don't have a Christmas jumper? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a Scrooge. What about you, Isaac? You know, uh, Christmas doesn't really start till December 24th at 7. That's when it really gets cold here in the desert. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Other than that, it's it's summertime all the rest of the year. It's going to be cold in your desert, mate. You haven't got a house anymore now. You bought that 6200. There's no way you could afford <laughs> anything else. <laughs> it's all right. I, I could go to Jason's house. Oh, cool. Go and live in his garden. <laughs> Bless him, buddy. Bless him. Oh, Thank you. Mikey. You all right there? Sorry. Nice. Yeah, it's cold here. <laughs> oh, how, did we, how did we do, guys? How did we all get on anyway? Um, I got 24 hours. Nice. What did you guys get? Uh, yeah, a combination of... I didn't know uh, you were going to come on here and tell us how long you got. It means I've got to go away and work it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can just... Well, so, so wait, so if we had... How many did we have, did you say, uh, Isaac? We had know? about 20, 26 hours, yeah. So we reckon then, on the Soul Nebula, we've got about 64, 65 hours. Is that what you yeah. Oh, that, that is crazy. So we, this is gonna, this is gonna have some insane detail, I reckon. Oh yeah. Okay. So, who's gonna edit it then? I say the legend that edits it. Who's that? Yeah. You pointing like? Why are you pointing at me? What's Jason pointing at? Jason's pointing at his crutch. 
<laughs> the legend, the legend. <laughs> I don't mind having a go at the edit if you want me to. I'll have a, I'll have a pop, yeah. I'll have a pop it. See what I can come up with. But what I'll do is I put, okay. let's put the, I'll put the master. I, what I'll do is I'll get all the data put together, and I'll put the masters on. Um, on our Google Drive, and then if you want to have a little play with it, have a play, and Sue can just come up with something that we like, and we can go from there. Yeah. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we'll do that. That'd be cool. That sounds great. And then great. we can share are, are the you gonna put your Are you going to put your finished uh, image, Glenn, on the Google Drive? Yeah. Well, so you lots can grab it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're just going to go to bed, aren't you, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy editing. I, I've been up 24 hours imaging straight, nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay. All right, All right. All right guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So, thank you for joining us for this collaboration. We've all had a really good time. Um, the guys wanted me to do the processing on the image which was a great honour although I did feel a bit of pressure um, I did most of the work in PixInsight I originally stacked all of our masters in Astro Pixel processor um, got them into PixInsight where I was doing my post processing I had a few issues the HA master was such a strong signal it was dominating the colour palette so no matter what palettes I was going for, uh, one color was really dominating, whether that be green or blue. And uh, so I had to play about a bit, but I eventually started to get something I was happy with. And I'm really happy with the final image and the guys all were happy too. So that was a massive compliment. So I was really pleased. I hope you all enjoyed the image. We certainly enjoyed making it. And I'd like to thank you all for joining us on this little journey. And until next time, please take care. And I'd like to wish you all clear skies. Why is my head so small? I thought it was always like that. <laughs> I think I'm too far away from the screen. <laughs> All right. I've got a big desk. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so something's hitting it, right? It won't let you go any further. <laughs> yeah. Should... <laughs> I should wear trousers. It's his, it's his little keyboard. Mm. You want? You want? You want one of my rings? <laughs> <laughs> if you can make it just a bit bigger. Well, Joe, you got to paint it first, remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Edit. <laughs> it's the deuce trap. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>